Man, this is lifestyles of the poor and unfucking fortunate. But I tell you what, but 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 bitch, we got views. <laughs> Here, I don't know. I just popped in, man. What the fuck's up, Bubba? Chatter on TV and Lil White. Just wanted to give y'all a quick little tour of some. I mean, a few people have seen this place, but a lot of people haven't. This is the legendary Selecto Hits Distribution Center, where, if you can think about it, from the 70s to the right now, a lot of your favorite music has been distributed right in this very building. Mm -hmm. So take them off with me. So you see here, they do DVDs, all kinds of shit. Some of these are like, I mean, they do like old westerns, all kinds Ooh, of shit. Ooh, that one's interesting. Oh, yeah, I don't, I don't have anything. To do. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, we got everything from old movies in here. Yeah. You got all the music back here. Let me find mine. Okay, here we go. Here's the important one. Shout out to the king. Oh, well, yeah. So if you look here, oh, what do we got here? Boom. Ooh. This is the Fixius label, right? Or the Fixius. We got the Bar album. Shout out Freddie. I need that one. One of my favorite albums I was able to help executive produce. A lot of people don't know about this album. Gangsta Bull and Le Chat album. Executive produced by me and Wes Phillips. There's some bangers on this motherfucker, man. Like, it's fucking jamming. Well, they let me buy stuff, like, straight from here. Yeah, for sure. Or I could just sneak a bunch of shit and throw it in a bag. <laughs> got no sick like days. Oh, that's your S.O. S -O Pats, man. All right. Got the little chat album I uh, executive produced. A lot of people don't know that. Mercy spoke to I executive produced that. Oh, that's dope. A lot of people don't know I executive produced Fraser Boy's album. No, uh, not no more. I just got that one in yesterday. A lot of people don't know that. Let's go to the, uh, let's go find some other. Let's go find some other. What else we got here? Uh, let's find the H's. H, 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 I mean, anything you can think of that's been put out in the South is like here. What is that? Bama, what is that? Bama boys. I mean, everything from the lax to fucking, you name it. M, 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 M. All right, here we go. This is the interesting aisle to me. This is my one of my favorite aisles, to be honest. Because you got things like this. Ooh, I didn't know Selecto put that one out. Yes, sir. They put that out. They put out that. Skeleton. They put out Project Cat Loud Pack. They put out one of my favorite albums I was on. Cutthroat album. Another classic. Chronicles of the or Hustle Till I Die. You've been on almost all of DJ Paul's projects, I've noticed. Sure. Like a lot of these other like a lot of these latter ones. Fraser Boy the That King, one's fire. Yep. Hard album. Um, another hard ass album, which you're staring at. What else we got back here? Chop and screw version. Oh, classic. Yep. Classic. Crunchy black on my mind. Another classic right here. Stupid classic. Yep. I just got that one another day. Oh, this aisle just keeps going. We got Chrome. We got Project Pet. Oh, that's Appeal. a classic mixtape right there. Fraser Boy gone on that bay. Here, don't tell nobody, but this is just for you. Put that in your pocket. <laughs> Put that in your pocket. We ain't gonna show the rest of these folks because they don't really matter. <laughs> Damn! The truth is the truth, boss. Go on on that man thirty six oh four. You might be on camera. So this guy right here, this is Heath. Okay. I don't really know what Heath does here. Nobody does. <laughs> but he's been here for as long as I can remember. And one thing I can say about the whole Selecto his family is ever since I've been down with them in two thousand and three, they have had my back ever since. They have been nothing but love and family to me. I can pop up here. Five minutes before closing, and be like, "Hey, man, I gotta take a shit." And they're like, "Come on in, the bathroom's yours." Right. <laughs> uh, because of me and Wes Phillips, there's a studio in here now. I'm gonna show y'all that. Okay. The studio actually used to be a closet, but we was able to talk pops into uh, letting us expand. Yeah. And um, none of this, none of this would have really happened without my brother Wes Phillips. Rest in peace to Wes, man. Uh, you got any jobbing down vinyl left over there? Cause y'all know we're fixing to do a mean campaign. Yeah. We're fixing to do a major, major, major little white on vinyl. We're doing a hundred autographed copies oh, wow. for a hundred dollars a piece. Oh, dude, that's dope, dude. And there's only gonna be a hundred of them. They're gonna be numbered. They got white vinyl. The actual records are white. 
It is the original whole album. Oh, that is fire, dude. And it'll be the 20th anniversary, March 3rd, 2023. This bitch will be 20 years old. Yep. That's wild. Where is that? Oh, this is all me. Oh, my God. Look at this. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Vinyl's coming back, baby. Yeah, that's awesome. Man, hustle till I die on vinyl. I'm telling you, man. Now, these vinyls, they're up for order now. But they ain't going to be autographed or numbered. So, let's go yeah. check out the studio. Okay. Right. I'm going to stop it for a second. These, these De La Soul. Ooh, EPMD. Fucking Eric B. and Rakim. Yep. I mean, just cold front. A lot of good stuff. NB NWA. Shit, H-Town. Man, I'm talking about something. Oh, Knocking Boots, H-Town. That's what's up. I'm telling you, dude, some of the greatest stuff you can Oh, Ice Cube, Predator. What? Yeah, Predator just came out of here. What else we got over here? We got Johnny Taylor. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, Everlast, White Four Seasons Blues right here. What we got back here? <coughs> Rhyme and Reason. DJ Magic Mike, one of my favorite albums that changed the game. So this is a studio. This is my partner Sam Allen right here. Well, Sam took over the studio. On, he uh, is apparently a young prodigy. Now uh, the studio originally was in that tiny little closet next door, mm -hmm. and then we had uh, shout out to Johnny Phillips and Sam Phillips, mm -hmm. boss man here. We had them, you know, let us expand. And uh, I want to take this moment to really say rest in peace, Wes Phillips, man. Wes really did change this entire building out for us. He went against shit that mom and dad said no to. There was nights we'd be in here popping Molly, smoking weed with bitches everywhere, and now I can finally say it. Yeah. <laughs> Can't nobody get in trouble no more. <laughs> but we had some wild nights in here, man. We had some nights in here until 5 o'clock in the morning. I remember one night I pulled the pistol on the cleaning guy at like 6 a.m., mm -hmm. just gone out of my mind. What uh, what all projects did you record here? We recorded uh, No Sick Days here. Okay. We recorded the bar album here. We recorded a witch album here. We recorded uh, parts of No Filter here. No Filter One. Um, Stoner with T Stoner. Shout out T Stoner. Mm -hmm. Stoner would come in town. We fucking we actually had mattresses up on the racks and Stoner whenever we was writing, he'd go crawl up into like a bunk and sleep for like three hours. <laughs> Swear to God, we went to Walmart and spent like four hundred dollars and buy mattresses and blankets and and all kinds of shit. So Stoner didn't have to get a hotel room. <laughs> That's dope, man. Y'all just budget made it. cuts, baby. Budget Y'all made it happen, though, dude. Y'all made uh, it happen. But yeah, we've done uh, the the Le Chat album came out here. The Witch album was produced here. Um, yeah, every, a lot of the shit that I showed you on that Fix It thing, we recorded all that right here. Um, yeah, man. I mean, it's this is my, this is our little sanctuary. I'm about to get back in here because I got me a I got me a new motherfucker in here now that we can uh, get yeah. back to work. And uh, I'm finally off my hiatus from COVID. Not from having COVID, from dealing with fucking Just, COVID. right, just, Let's go nice to meet you, bro. Appreciate, Appreciate you. Sam. Hopefully, yeah, whenever yeah, you start, you soon, brother. Sure. when you start doing some uh, studio sessions, you, I'll have to come back up there. Yeah, for sure. Up there. Uh... Lion King, what? <laughs> Lion King soundtrack was put out by Selecto Hits? Come on, man. Oh, Ice Cube again. Yeah. NWA, yeah. I'm talking about all the greats, bro. Run DMC, yeah. More NWA. Ice Cube on this wall too. Salt and Pepper. Salt and Pepper. Just, just crazy. Tone Loke. The Funky Comedema. He's still doing that. He's still performing that song. Oh, yeah, he better be. <laughs> Shoot. But yeah. That's dope, dude. Shows you like the history. I mean. MTV Party on the Goes. Like oh, I remember, I remember them, dude. Party, to, yeah, Party to Goes for Digital sure. Digital Underground, bro. Digital Underground, like the yeah. Um, Big Mike. That's a classic rap album right yeah, there too. For sure, dude. Easy E. Classics, man. Pastor Troy, I was just listening to that song you and him did on your uh, Still Doubt It album. I did a Clean Up Man movie. They put it, put it out. Oh, I forgot all about that movie, dog. I remember the Choices movies, but I forgot about Clean Up Man. It's really cool. Like, this place has been here for so long. Like a lot of these posters have been here since like the fucking 80s. Oh, that well, was the yeah. original Selecto here, so it was off of uh, Chelsea Avenue. That was Elvis Presley's Memphis Mafia football team back there that he had back in the day. Oh, wow. And then right, there he is. Right. Oh, yeah, that's my whole, all this shit's my shit. 
It's all on the next little border. But see, the problem is, is digital has done taken over. That's why that shit's still sitting on the fucking shelf. I'm trying to bring that physical shit back. I love CDs, dog. We was talking about I'm that the last time. Physical shit back, man, for real. I love that idea that you got with the vinyls, though. That's going to be... Oh, yeah, they're vinyls. You're going right. to sell them hundreds for a hundred piece. I'm going uh, to do... I'm thinking about doing each album that way, too. Yeah, for sure, dude. And I mean, like, even, like, if it makes sense, like, the CDs come in and the spindles they come in these plastics. They put together everything, shrink wrap the shit right here, ship it off. Bro, your yeah. finally famous, famous album is, like, a hundred bucks trying to find that one. Yeah. You know why? Because it won't be... They can't release it on Spotify. Because, uh, because, hey, Sonny Bama, what's poppin', Bama? What up, Sonny? Because, uh, all right, you guys, thank y'all. Thank you.